My neighbor just got pulled over outside his house. Cause and he's got a tail light out. Uh oh. That must suck getting pulled over right at home. <laughs> this is Danny. That's Tina's brother, the maid's brother. Well, hey, Tubas. Frigga Sack. You Dizzy's uh, taking a day off of videos to watch uh, the Patriots game. So, beg my pardon. And, uh, you know, wearing the You Dizzy good luck swag with the Patriots hat. Watching a game. It's a Fergus sack. Hey, little man. Over this way. This is toned. <laughs> yeah, over this way. Come on. Come. Down. Down. <laughs> oh. Oh. Daddy wants to see you. Papa wants to see you. Why? Why? That's Tony getting his insulin for the day. Oh, camera's all kadidid. Now what do you need? Now what do you want? Tell me. He wants his treat. What do you want? This? Tell me. Want this? Tell me. Where's it go? In there? Good boy. <laughs> you good boy. Let me see what that is. Show everybody what you get this cat so they can see just how crazy you are. Cat sip. Oh, cat sip. She gets cat, real cat, cat milk, okay? Freaking spoiled brat. Ache, well, just an FYI, they shouldn't be getting that diabetic cat. Well, yeah. <laughs> So she gives it insulin, and then she, then she gives it treats. Let me see. No, Tony yeah. doesn't get those. Tally gets those. Oh, so Tally gets a treat just because he gets a a shot. Yeah. A shot. Okay, that's good. Kitty point day at your dizzy's place. <laughs> oh, she don't even chew them. Okay. Yeah. All done, Daddy. Oh, that was good. Daddy, you are done. She hates the camera. <laughs> Daddy, look at me. She just won't look at me. She <laughs> says the camera's on. I'm not looking. Hi, pumpkin. Well, good morning, tubers. It's Monday morning. Martin Luther King Day. Um, not that I uh, celebrate that holiday, but some people do. Congratulations to the Patriots. Another awesome win. Way to, uh, way to uh, show those Colts where you come from. You know what I mean? That's freaking awesome. Gotta love that kind. Now one more game, the Super Bowl. Um, I know Seattle's a good team, but uh, we the best. So I'm wishing the Patriots luck. And uh, we're going to get started today. Um, down in the shop, I went and grabbed uh, one of these. Wicked cool tools. And I'm going to get to uh, hitting that frame. Got the Dewalt with the uh, Wicked Course. Wicked Course. I'm going to strip all the paint off of that, uh, the frame of the Model A today. Oh, and one more thing. I got to go check the oil on Anna's car, too. So, why don't you guys come along? All right. Once again, 
remember the Patriots because they's the best. Okay, this is the car. I'm gonna have to uh, pull it in the driveway. Guess it's got an oil leak or something. Somewhere. Oh yeah, it's leaking somewhere. So I'm gonna have to check it out. I hope it's just an oil pan. Maybe I can fix it. Maybe I can't. So we'll see. Well, all right, I got her in here. She looks a little greasy, but I don't see nothing dripping out yet. I'm gonna have to do some more investigation, but there's oil everywhere. I don't know if she spilt it when she put it in here or what. Something's leaking everywhere down here. Seems like a head gasket. I'm letting her warm up. She filled this up way too full. Power steering is uh, hot as hell. I'm gonna have to check it out. Somebody's gotta keep an eye on Anna. Holy. Well, I sucked out some of that. I'll have to see how the power steering is. But all the belts are connected. Everything's working good in there. Um, I don't know what this was leaking from. But that seems like a mixture of antifreeze and a little oil. And I think they opened this when it was raining or something. But I wiped this all off. I had it running for half an hour. And uh, I got no drips out the bottom except for water. You know, from sitting outside. So there's no oil. That was a water. And it was coming out right there. Right there somewhere. But I don't see it anymore. So maybe they filled it up too much or something. But I know she's got none of this. I'm going to have to fill that up. She says it keeps overheating. So, other than that, I think she's good. I checked uh, the level. We added some oil. And uh, she's all set. So we'll have to see how she does now. Well, all right, it's a little dusty down here right this second, but uh, I'm doing some work cleaning her up, getting a lot of the rust off her. It's actually working good. I uh, got down there pretty well, done good, and uh, I'm happy to say uh, uh, this is working out pretty good. So I'm going to uh, hit the insides and whatnot, and uh, then I'm going to use this epoxy. I'll actually put it in uh, this video. I'll put some pics of what I got. Coming. And if you see here, look at I was been busy. I've been working on this little by little. I have to go get some new flap discs, and uh, today I'm going to take this book upstairs and uh, check out what I need for uh, the front brakes for this. Oh, let me take this stupid visor off. When you're working when you're, with grinders, always wear your safety apparatus. Only you does he give you that much advice. Alright. So... That's pretty good. I want to take the book upstairs and get going. I, uh, I'm happy to announce that um, Anna's car's all set. Her, she was telling me that the car was overheating, and it was because her daughter didn't put no uh, antifreeze in the radiator. It was totally empty, totally empty, and the uh, windshield washer fluid was totally empty. And the power steering was full too much. It was too full. 
So I sucked that out with a turkey baster and uh, got that working right. And I cleaned up some of this. And oh, what else did I do to that car? Oh, there I, uh, I wiped up all the oil that was spilt all over it. I think when she filled the oil up, she must have spilled it on the fan and it blew around because the oil is full and uh, the oil was full and it was good and um, there was no leaks. Nothing leaked underneath it, so that's a good sign. So we'll see. I mean, she wants to get a new car. She's going to trade it in, but we got to make it last as long as we can for her, I guess. So I'm going to take the book and go up there and get the uh, gist of what I need for these um, brakes. I'm going to do with that book. Oh, there she is up here. Can't forget that. I go up and down a million times in a day, and I forget this every time. You know how that is. So, I've been at her, cleaning her up nice. I still got to get in the little cracks and stuff, you, you know. But she's coming along, little by little. Definitely a seriously nice frame. So, not a video from the U Dizzy shop, where you have to stay out of. And uh, comment, like, subscribe. Check out the links below. As always, get your hardcore, you dizzy swag.